Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Moto Maggie channel. We're gonna take a break here for ducks crossing the road. <laughs> wow, lots of ducks. So welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today I'm riding to Greisemers Covered Bridge. Now I say Greisemers, I hear I'm here in Ole Township, Pennsylvania. A lot of people here around here call it Greisemers, but I've heard it called Greisemers as well. I'm not sure how you correctly pronounce it, but I call it Greisemers. Just out of habit, I guess, what I've always called it. And if you've watched my channel for a while, or, or if you watch uh, Walton PA, another motor vlogger here local to me in, in uh, Burks County, Pennsylvania, you'll know that Greisemers Bridge is Walton PA's motor vlogging bridge. And by that I mean there's a, a road sign there next to the bridge where Walton P.A. puts all of his motovlogger stickers he gets from other motovloggers. And I put a few I've gotten from there as well. So he calls it the motovlogging bridge. Now I've, over the course of my three plus years of motovlogging, I've, I've ridden to uh, several covered bridges. I've ridden to them, through them, around them. Not near as many as Walton P.A. of course. Walton P.A. is the cover bridge guru of motor vlogging <laughs> but today I'm riding to Greisemers Bridge because a few days ago Greisemers Bridge was damaged now today is May 31st 2023 it's a Wednesday two days ago on a Monday night May 29th some guy in a car drove through the side of Greisemers Bridge partly through the side of the bridge and partly through the stone wall embankment in front of the bridge. I'll put some pictures here on the screen of the damage and the uh, picture is courtesy of, uh, I got them on Facebook. I'm not sure who actually took the pictures. I think it was the Ole Township Fire Department, I believe. So credit to the Ole Township Fire Department. I think that's who took the pictures. I'm not certain of that, but that's who I believe took them. So I'll show you the, the damage pictures here. Now what I'm doing this morning is I'm riding to the bridge to see firsthand how bad it is. I saw in a news article on the uh, local news channel here, WFMZ, channel 69, they had a short blurb about the bridge and they said it's closed for, you can't drive through it right now. It's gonna be closed for quite a while from what I think, from my impression, because the damage is pretty extensive. Uh, so I just thought I'd ride down today and check it out because I want to see just how bad it actually is. And I want to make sure the motor vlogging stickers are okay too. It's been a while since I've been down to Walton PA's motor vlogging bridge. So while I'm there, we'll check out and see if Walt put any new stickers there or not. I know I haven't. The last time I was down to that bridge, I put my own motor vlogging sticker there, which was last November, I think. November of 2022 or somewhere around there, I think. I have been down there since. So Walt may very well have put some new stickers there. Or maybe the township took that clean the signpost off and took the stickers away. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out today. I just want to see if the bridge, well, how the bridge is doing, what kind of shape the bridge is in. Now, I'm coming at the bridge from the back way because, like I said, you can't drive through it, but the damage is on the eastern side of the bridge. So I'm coming at it from the east side so I can park there and see the damage firsthand. If I came at it from the other side, you wouldn't be able to drive through it or get to the other side without walking through the river. And maybe you can walk through the bridge, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how much is closed off or what they've done exactly, so that's part of why I'm riding to check it out. I'm curious. I don't know if there's gonna be crews working on it or not there. I somehow doubt it, seeing how the damage only happened two days ago. I kind of think it'll take time before they assess the damage and get price estimates and all that stuff. And part of me is a little worried that they won't fix it at all. Now, Greisemers Bridge is one of five covered bridges left in Burks County, Pennsylvania. I think I've been to four of them on my channel. 
I to, I'm not sure of that. I'll have to check out that. I know there's the only there's the Pleasantville Cover Bridge right across, right over here somewhere, about a mile or two. Here's Greiser's Bridge. Kutzville Bridge is up near Kutztown. That's three. I don't know the other two offhand. I should know the other two. I should know all five by heart, but I can't think off the top of my head where they are. That would be a neat idea for a video, actually. Ride to all five covered bridges in Berks County, Pennsylvania. I might do that. Do a little Berks County cover bridge tour. Now uh, here is Spangsville Road. This is the road the bridge is on. Ah, uh, well, bridge might be closed. We could drive down here though. We're on a motorcycle. We could fit anywhere. <laughs> Two wheels go anywhere. Oh, they are working on it. Look at that. There's a crew here. I'll check it out and see what's going on. Okay. Turn off the Hero 7. Morning. Morning. Are you guys working on the bridge already? No. Oh, okay. No, nope, just closing everything up. I was going to say, I was fast turnaround time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw the article on FMZ. I thought I'd come down and check it out. It's really bad, isn't it? Yeah. How did the car, like, what happened? I mean, I saw the, I saw the picture of the car and it'd be hard to do what he did, I think. <laughs> you know what I know. <laughs> You'd have to try to do what he did. <laughs> they really did a number on the beam, didn't it? Yeah. Holy, wow. Okay, that wall's ruined. It even separated it from the concrete. Wow, from the road. Although, looking at it, it's just this wood on the end here. The structure looks fine. Actually, the structure didn't look too bad, actually. It's just the end here, really. Yeah, it's just the end. Let's walk down here and you look from the ground. Wow. Yeah, this is where the car was. Oh man, I sat on this thing many times. <laughs> so, I'll show the picture of the car. You can see it was right out the side here, like this. Larry and Maria. Sorry, Larry and Maria. Your board is off the bridge. Man, the stone wall really fell apart. Uh, see the bomb? It, structurally, the bridge is intact. It's not that bad. It's just going to be the facade here on the end. It needs to be re repaired. Man, the stone wall got destroyed. Well, welcome to Greisenberg's Covered Bridge. <laughs> I'll have to send Walton PA some pictures of this, let him know that his bridge got hit by a car. <laughs> he might know already, but I don't know. All right, let's check out the motovlogging stickers here. See if anything's new or not. No, I don't see anything new. There's mine, Moto Mengi, Tricky Moto above me. Dewey Rides. Yeah, I need new stickers to put up here. We can start filling this out better. Although, from now on, Walt and I are going to need to bring a stool to reach higher because it's getting to the point where we can't reach up there. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, 
That's Greisenberg's Bridge, Walton PA's motor vlogging bridge. You can see the damage is pretty bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it was from the car accident photos. I think they'll definitely be fixing it. Especially seeing how the bridge is historic anyway, so in that light, I'm almost certain they'll be fixing it. But also more to that, the damage isn't so extensive. The squirrel, the wood part wouldn't take much to fix. There's structurally the bridge is fine. It's intact, just peachy keen. That snow wall is probably gonna be the majority of the repair cost because that thing was demolished. I mean, wow. Well, that's the part that the car plowed right through. If you look at the pictures I posted earlier, or I showed you earlier about how the car went through the bridge. The car kind of went halfway through the snow wall and halfway through the bridge itself. So it damaged both the wooden bridge and the snow wall together. Still, I'm not sure what happened that the guy went through it like that because going through a covered bridge, you almost have to steer off the bridge to do what he did. Maybe he fell asleep, maybe he was texting, maybe he was drunk, I don't know. It's a weird accident. Like, it'd be hard to replicate the accident he had in that bridge. <laughs> so there you go, that's the update to Greisenberg's Covered Bridge here in Ole, Pennsylvania. Damaged, closed. I'll check in on it you know, every other week or so just to see the progress, see what happens with it. That's really all I wanted to do for this video though. Just go see the bridge myself and post an update and make a video of it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for riding along. Be careful driving over covered bridges in your area. <laughs> Don't go through them, just go over them. And see you next time. Take care. Lonely times Lonely places Have seen my teardrops fall Lonely hearts Lonely places That's near at long But with all these tears and heartaches, dear, I still have sweet dreams of you. And time is gone. There's still pieces of the car here, even. Wow. What a mess. I tell myself that one of these days you'll come back home. my love once again but I know that it's all just fantasy well it's just some little game I've been playing because I can't take the truth I know you're gone my favorite song my Love will do